Good morning. All right, so we have had a very interesting conversation. We began the show with myself, Brian Sako, and Stephanie Ayeta, just, you know, spreading good vibes and good cheer on this small, small, chilly Monday morning. And then we dove right into the interview with Stephanie Ayeta. If you did not catch it, it will possibly be up on YouTube at some point in time. And then Brian Sako led us on the conversation on politics, or so just here and there of what has been going on in the past couple of days, uh, what the opposition is doing, what the government is doing, how we're feeling about it on the ground, etc, etc. So we're going to finish it with a conversation with two very handsome gentlemen on set. And I have very, very many questions. But first of all, good morning, Manchester United fans. Congratulations. <laughs> on winning the EFL Cup, which is now referred to as the Carabao Cup, and setting to qualify for the Europa League. Yes, congratulations. And if you know a Chelsea fan out there, I keep telling you, please, please, please check on them. They are not okay. Hashtag is why the morning. You can interact with us at Y254 on Facebook, Y254 channel on Twitter, Y254 underscore channel on the gram. My name is Val, by the way. Hi, guys. Hi. Bad Zin. Uh, I'll start with the handsome gentleman on the extreme, on my extreme right. Yes, my name is Aposokela Kimani. Uh -huh. yeah. What do you do? Okay, currently I'm a media student mm -hmm. at the University of Nairobi. Mm -hmm. And I'm very thrilled mm -hmm. to be in Y25 for this morning. Mm -hmm. And I believe fans out there, mm -hmm. you're also thrilled as well because today we are going to be discussing a very, a very good topic mm -hmm. which is going to actually uh -huh. educate you yes. in the most. How do we yeah. find you on social media? Okay, you can find me at Aposokela Kimani on Facebook, mm -hmm. on Twitter and on Instagram. Yeah. I currently opened a YouTube channel where I call myself The Sword, but not the much sword. done there. Yeah, Why yeah. The Sword? Why The Sword? Uh -huh. I call myself The Sword simply because I, there is this content I have been wanting to do. Mm -hmm. I had, I, in fact, I had actually started doing it, mm -hmm. but I wanted some, okay, kinda, some good, you know, like good stuff to present it well, because I, I want to pierce. Why I call myself the solid wow. because I want to pierce and I want to cut off mm -hmm. mediocrity and obscenity in the society. Uh -huh. I want people to be looking things forward, uh -huh. to be knowing what they want in life. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's what I want. And I believe I'm going to achieve it Where? very soon. I really like your focus. Yeah. <laughs> hey, wow. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And we have someone who is dabbling in film, so maybe you can get in touch after this mm. make yes. magic happen. Uh. Meanwhile, how... What's your name? Uh, my name is Calvin Oyula. Mm -hmm. uh, Calvin Oyula. Mm -hmm. uh, on social media platforms, mm -hmm. on uh, YouTube, I have a YouTube channel where I'm mostly more active. Uh, YouTube is by my name, Calvin Oyula, mm -hmm. where we do content there. We have mm -hmm. a production called Art 2 to 4 Production, mm -hmm. meaning Art Today, Tomorrow, and Forever. Wow. So we do film, we have short films and a trailer to a feature film. Mm -hmm. uh, on Instagram, calvo underscore. There I do poetry every Thursday. Wow. I post a poetic Thursday. Mm -hmm. It's a movement poetic Thursday in Akonga. Each and every Thursday. Twitter, mm -hmm. as is still the same post as calvo, I post the poems there. Mm -hmm. Also on Wattpad, Calvin underscore poet. I also post content on Wattpad. You're, you're very artistic. Kinda. Uh, <laughs> e -e, yeah, Thursday, do you go live on Instagram? Okay, so on Thursday, oh. I get a topic each and every Thursday, a different topic, a different theme. Mm. I write, then I post, mm -hmm. then on weekend, I do the video to try to elaborate the pieces and post it on oh. YouTube. Does this have any relation to do with there's one network uh, PAL poetry after lunch, a pale KNT. Is that do they have relation? Or it's just coincidence because it's also on Thursdays. Okay, for that's a coincidence. It's coincidence. Yeah, it has relation with the poetic Tuesday of Mufasa poet. Mutani Maliza, Mutani Maliza. All right, so the conversation is leaning towards the boy child. Of course, me nukwambia misi, bro. So I'll be leaning a lot on you guys to educate me. So you know, lot to get education. Yeah, true. So to know, Liza, one of my automatics come again to protect my bestie against Warembo. First of all, why do you need protection? Kwani, 
Are we that terrible? Ni ni ni. Ah? Yes, ni mesikia tu juzi. And yes, out of 24 hours, you should be spending 23 of those hours fearing women. And that other one that has remained, you fear women more. Also. Why? Okay. Okay, what I will say is, okay, why is it said that men should protect other men against Okay, from ladies, mm, isn't it? Mm. Okay, according to my view, I will say that, you know, there are some men who are actually psychos in the first place. Really? Yeah, mm. really psychos. Like, they cannot do without relationships. Mm -hmm. And you know that in relationships, there are very many, I mean, very many targets mm -hmm. in very different people. There are some people who are into relationships because of, like, intimacy. Mm -hmm. And others are, going, are into relationships because of, you know, some people they are suffering from something deep inside mm -hmm. and you know like they indulge themselves into relationships mm -hmm. so that they they kind of they kind of okay they want to forget their past are you getting mm -hmm. it so what i will say is wh why should we protect other men from this relationship it's because uh, when you when you actually look at most relationships they break mm -hmm. than create mm -hmm. yeah especially in relationships dealing with uh, i mean people with in an age gap of like 20 to 30 years you know like gap, you, age yeah gap. that age yeah, gap. Mamas, uh, no, steps, no 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 like children. teens you know like uh. i mean like i think there we can say is the youth the peak of youth uh -huh. you hear somebody saying of oh i really miss my my sweet 20s mm. you know like at that point is whereby most people tend to break themselves mm -hmm. than actually making themselves mm -hmm. because you know i had you know there is this uh there is this slogan mm -hmm. that i don't know about without a girl is like tea without sugar you know Allah. it's like a pen without ink yeah uh -huh. yeah yeah and so some people you know like some men are into relationships because of that mm -hmm. they're like Okay, when I meet, when I be into a relationship, I'll be, uh, you know, I'll be dope, you know, mm -hmm. I'll be dope. Some people will be seeing me, you know, I'm fancy. Mm -hmm. But in the end, last, mm -hmm. this person it's not gets a heartbreak, or uh -huh. even he does not get a lot out of that, you know. Uh, yeah. okay. Thank you. Feel free to interject. Yes. Uh, so I can say, uh, uh, the boy child, actually, we should protect the boy child from uh, the West China, I'm from West China, sure. because ah. Yeah. Because, uh, like in the society of now, mm -hmm. you know, the boy child is under is under threat. A society where, like, uh, tenderly to overlook into the boy child mm -hmm. when it comes to any situation, any scandals, especially in a relationship scandals, mm -hmm. any mess that may occur. You know, the boy child, the camera of the society, the eyes of the society are directly pointed to this boy child. Mm -hmm. And also, so it's upon the boy child and the boy child to stand for themselves, eh, to be your brother's keeper. Mm -hmm. I, we need to carry this journey together because it's <laughs> just you yeah. and me, or you and you, not anyone else. Uh -huh, mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah, so I All feel right. they, they need this protection. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah. I want to read uh, to you something that someone very wise, someone known as Austin, he was mm -hmm. just here the mm -hmm. first segment of the show. And he said, men are made men in the company of other men. Yeah. How true is this? Uh, it's, it depends uh -huh. on how you're making this man, uh -huh. but it's true under that, uh, that subgroup of men, mm -hmm. it's where now men make men. Mm -hmm. you, you know, your situation is not different from other person's situations and mm -hmm. you're the only people going through this situation. Mm -hmm. How you come up with the solutions to embrace each other, mm -hmm. to help each other, that's how you make men. Mm -hmm. uh, so ni kuchochana tu mna kuchatu kama wanaome and then you gas each other up. Zai mwanaome ni mwanaome bro. Ku gas each other up but si kuchochana. Tofauti ni. Tofauti ni. You know kuchochana is kind of, you're trying to say, actually kuchochana is in the negative side, you know. Really? Yeah, yeah. Kuchochana is in the negative side as in, ukichocha mse, you're actually making them to go in a, okay, in a wrong cut. But actually what men do is, we try to okay we come up together mm -hmm. and we advise each other you know like recently we've been having this men's conference isn't it mm -hmm. and in that men's conference actually a lot happened mm -hmm. whereby you see like men are taught how not to simp you know mm -hmm. yeah you know there's some men who are desperate for 
like I, like I said earlier. Mm -hmm. So when you're taught how to sim, this simply means that you're going to focus on the bigger picture, you mm -hmm. know, because uh, I mean relationships, sometimes I've seen really many people mm -hmm. being teared down mm -hmm. because of relationships, very toxic ones, mm -hmm. very toxic toxic relationships. You see, like you find someone actually, mm -hmm. until you go in a toxic relationship, mm -hmm. now I see move forward, mm -hmm. it's kind of it's kind of a spell, no, like a spell of learning. <laughs> yeah, kamote of some sort. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. So na pata, I'm I'm a clangiwa. No, yo, the partner. Mm. Yes, and I'm hurt. And I take a kumwacha, but na pata there is something bad when I push back. So those are the things of which we need to protect fellow men from. Mm -hmm. Of course, we are, you're saying we should fear women 23 hours, uh -huh. but at a kama that one now I me bakisha hatu is it? And I fear women. No, 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 that is not fair. That is not fair. That is not fair. Yeah. How mm -hmm. are you feeling about the same? Uh. Amani Kulize, because he yeah, said yeah, something so, yeah. about uh, guys or, or generally there's some men who just do not not want to be in a relationship. Like, how is it car to single? Now, how, how would you come about advising such a man? So th that means it doesn't doesn't matter whether it's a, it's an okay relationship uh -huh. or it's a toxic one. Uh -huh. maybe an apigua. By the way, men go through gender-based violence uh -huh. too. So even if he's going through all these things, he just won't tell anyone. Just as long as he can say, uh -huh. I am in a relationship. Now, how do you help your brother there? Uh, for a brother who already is in a relationship or wants he's to He's already there oh, and he sorry. cannot move. Mm -hmm. And cannot move. Uh, maybe you call <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. Andrew I can add to that. Uh -huh. I think when, okay, you see when a person is in a relationship and they cannot get out from there, uh -huh. I would, okay, one of those tricks, mm -hmm. like one of them that I know, mm -hmm. is when you make this person, you disengage them, you like, you remove them from that relationship. You know that love, it can be div di diverted in the way you want. Mm -hmm. You know that. Mm -hmm. So you can divert love to... I mean romantic love mm -hmm. and I can you can also divert love mm -hmm. to agape love which mm -hmm. is love for God mm -hmm. and also love not the best part of love mm -hmm. is the love for family mm -hmm. so you can actually make this friend of yours mm -hmm. to be so bonded to the family because do you know like this uh, this popular TikToker who has died recently in a car accident you know that person mm. yeah that guy is actually a good I mean a very good encouragement I really like that guy oh mm -hmm. my god rest his soul in peace mm -hmm. that guy he actually divorced with the wife mm -hmm. and he used to stay with the daughter mm -hmm. and i used to see a very compassionate love to the daughter in fact that guy every picture he posts mm -hmm. is either he has the daughter or the two sisters and apparently mm -hmm. in that car accident mm -hmm. they died the four of them the Boy. two sisters and the daughter and the guy himself Boy. so i will say that this person was like a very good encouragement to show guys to show real men out there that you cannot just Keep love or just yeah. romantic issues. No, you can divert them to the family basis, and it's just dope. Yeah, yeah it's told on that. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, in this relationship, you know, also there are men who are toxic, mm -hmm. and also have uh, the counterpart, the female, who are also toxic. Mm -hmm. But uh, now these uh, programs, this like men's conference, now these are uh, men encouraging men to fear women. Mm -hmm. It's not like a wake up call. Now that's a step that. Uh, they're doing mm -hmm. now to revive that situation where maybe a relationship has really put you to a corner mm -hmm. so that you cannot think outside the box. Mm -hmm. So that's why you have these uh, programs, this encouragement. Mm -hmm. uh, that's like a step, a process of standing for each other. You know, they keep talking, it's making mm -hmm. me feel like this men's conference could actually be real. Guys, can you confirm or deny this, please? <laughs> at White Five on Facebook. <laughs> Hashtag is FCM. Okay, uh -huh. I have another question. Uh -huh. Is is it a must? Okay, mm -hmm. for example, this this is your brother who has oh. just met a, a, a particular lady. I'm, I'm nice. I'm, I'm nice. Oh, she looks because I'm of the understanding that men are first attracted by what you see. Because we see on a personality, right? Yeah. Yes, you can't see someone's personality. Person. So she looks nice. Maybe they have conversation, conversation. Mm -hmm. Do I have to, okay, do you have to, as the man, introduce mm -hmm. your lady to your male friends? Is it a must? Is there a vetting process that goes on? To, to introduce? Uh, yes. Like, I uh say, -huh. Na mkumbuke pia na nyinyi si wazuri cuz one of your boys mm -hmm. might anaweza pita na yeye kidogo but uh -huh. is uh, it but a must as a, sewa, as a man you don't have to introduce uh, 
uh, your partner to your friends because uh -huh. the, the partner is yours. Uh -huh. You know, the, the moment you introduce, you are like uh, exposing and you are, we are humans. Uh -huh. So you, uh, it's good when you keep it to yourself. Uh -huh. Yeah, you balance, you balance the situation. So you must have to introduce, uh, like Zimu let Mbogi won't be a mepata. But Mbogi, Mbogi to be ready kuku kuku feed kuku jaza kuambia eh hapo umechoma hapo fanya hivi kitu kaya yo how do you feel <laughs> is it a must like okay uh, okay according to my opinion i would say that it's not a must mm -hmm. because if the decision is yours mm -hmm. do you know that they are they are friends who are there just to pull you down mm -hmm. so you could actually show them your fiance or like your your partner mm -hmm. and they are like hey dude what did you see in that girl? Oh, really? Yeah, like this girl, oh my, she's so down. She's do so down. Like, uh -huh. no, no, no. no. Yeah, where, where is this dude? Yanga Liana, na jito gani? Uta gana na left arm. Zela said, yeah, vitu za jana. Unge tagia stock mpia ikamu. Ay, 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 bel mpia. Bel mpia. Oh, violence comes in all forms and manners. Is it possible that this idea of men protecting men from women is just men refusing to be vulnerable? Um, someone was vulnerable with someone and, and it was the wrong someone because we, we were told uh -huh. again by Austin that you have to uh -huh. choose your audience properly. You cannot True. just be vulnerable with everyone. Uh -huh. So let's say, for example, you were uh -huh. vulnerable to a lady, uh -huh. na kapita. Yani you broke your heart into small shattered pieces. Uh -huh. And now because of your experience, uh -huh. you're trying to protect him from uh -huh. being vulnerable to a lady or someone else that he feels maybe he has met and is the perfect match for him. Is that possible? I think, yeah, it's possible because uh, literally you are vulnerable at some point. Because mm -hmm. uh, now in the society, it's easy, like I have say, the boy child is kind of vulnerable already. Mm -hmm. There are people who have passed uh, in a relationship on PTA through hell, others have gone through heaven. Mm -hmm. There's that. But so, uh, Aymanishi, for you who have uh, maybe where the path you chose didn't it work well, not that uh, everyone will. Uh, be that way. Mm -hmm. It's uh, this protection is like a just a warning. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's like a, a warning mm -hmm. like to someone who has not experienced. Very it so hard far. to convince someone who is is in those kind of butterfly feelings. You know uh -huh. how it feels when a relationship is fresh. Mm -hmm. mm, I could <laughs> get to see him. Good yeah. morning, babe. Yeah. Good night. Mm. Umekula. Mm. Hey, how are you feeling today? It's it's very difficult to advise someone who's going that through yeah, that. But now that's where the bro code comes. Uh -huh. When yeah. your friends uh, like uh, advise you, mm -hmm. and you and you see through it, mm -hmm. because for the bro code it will be more of empowerment. Mm -hmm. When you bring that advice, and then you see through it, and you're like, mm -hmm. it makes sense. Mm -hmm. Let me change my knee. Mm -hmm. Unless when you're being told, then won't assume. Mm -hmm. No, that's not that the broker now. Mm -hmm. uh, Talk to me. Okay, what I will say is, mm -hmm. okay, now that is where now, you know, like that is kind of, you know, when like in the morning, the, okay, the, the lady texts you, hey, morning, babe, how are you doing, you know, and this guy cannot even concentrate at work. You go to your phone. And you many texts, you know, so actually that is what we are now trying mm -hmm. to Actually, you know, to not try to cut off, yeah. No matter, we we come up with tricks. Mm -hmm. We come up with tricks like say you know, in Really, at least we prevent these guys from being psycho because I think now that is being psycho. Mm -hmm. Because una pata like this guy in a day, actually, I mean, I'm, like they conversed even karibu nusu ya iyo siku. So una pata actually a easy focus for real. Mm -hmm. You know, you cannot serve two masters. Mm -hmm. Una this actually this thing ina dominate the other mm -hmm. relationship. Actually, most likely, kwanza kama hiyo a toxic one. Mm -hmm. it dominates the future. So this guy is equal on goals. Mm -hmm. Is on goals because at akiwa na goals is zifanya vizuri because uku kuna kuna some some deriving force mm -hmm. in ambrudisha nyuma mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, is it part of the bro code also, let's uh -huh. say, for example, you have seen someone and, and he knows you're with someone uh -huh. but, and he knows who your someone is, mm -hmm. but he sees your someone with someone else. Are we following that one? Yeah. <laughs> yes, uh -huh. we are together. Yes. Is it bro code and I say, bro, hey, Udem Kidogo, I saw her yesterday. Mm -hmm. Am I you? <laughs> In fact, that's a bro code to be appreciated. <laughs> really? Yeah, uh, truly, because, uh, you know, that's being a brother's keeper. Mm hmm like literally i see the girl with another guy mm -hmm. i know i know both mm -hmm. 
no matter what the girl gives me or anything, mm -hmm. I have to go to my bro, I tell you. Just check. Kiasi kuna, kuna uh -huh. kabonet, imetoka, fix it. Ah. <laughs> Kiasi, you have to make a correction. Because, uh -huh. eh, you know, you, you can't watch it, you can't be, you can't, uh, always turn a blind eye uh -huh. to change, you know, for you, it's not okay. Because uh -huh. yeah, I think also the females will do the same. Okay, the same bro code, uh -huh. but let me rephrase okay, it. Rephrase your, it. your bro <laughs> has two different ladies. And mm -hmm. you know both these ladies. Uh -huh. But you will not tell either of these ladies, your bro, ah, the, my bro is playing you. Is that still bro code? <laughs> <laughs> is it still a bro code? <laughs> like my bro is playing these two females. Uh -huh. I know these two females and I know my bro. Uh, but I will uh, never uh, tell these two females what is going on. Is that a bro code also? There's this Kiswahili. Methali na samanga pili pili suyila. Oh, i mbono basi mnamuambia. Pia yu su Jaila, why? Uh, yu Jaila, uh -huh. but yu na kuwasha jits your bro. Si bado ni bitu your bro. So, so that depends on the bro, uh -huh. for you arrange your house, plenty of things. Uh -huh. But when you need advice, uh -huh. you can come, but you arrange your house. Make sure a shift has gone gani, mm. talk to me. Me, I will say, bro comes first. Uh -huh. Bro comes first. Uh -huh. So actually, when you actually... Uh, when you when you tell that to the lady, mm -hmm. now the bro will partake you or will, will perceive you as a snitch, you know. And kama siwa na ome, unajua yu ni kitu we cannot tolerate, kuhitu a snitch. Snitches get stitches. Kuna vile ileti. So we cannot dare do that. Afadhali ni nyamazie. Akikuja kujua, akuja kujua tu. Atafadhali ni direct in a underwater. No, no, underwater. Lakini isi yo hivi clearly, no. Because wana ome mutachocha buwana. Ah, 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 he only talks about you. You're the only one he keeps talking about. Ah, ume mpatia nini jamani. Hakuli. Utambia girlfriend one and girlfriend two. Yo badu ni broke with. Ku maintain situation. Kwa wingman, yo badu. Wow. Okay, I feel that a double standards flying all over the place, but that's fine. Please do participate in the conversation at White Five on Facebook, White Two Five Four channel on Twitter. Hashtag of the day is MCM. All right, bro code. Does bro code also dictate? Remember to talk to us. Bye. Tunaza soma kwanza kabla ni uzi soli next because I'm quite sure I saw a couple of people who are already on the forum. Good job, good job. Good thinking, guys. Yeah, wacha nianze na nyingi and then we'll get to the next question. So we have a man, James. Good morning. Says, Monday will kill us one day. Ah, ah. Nini ini tena? Kama unajua you're not a United fan, usiongelesh. Ah, ya. Usiongelesh. Siyongei na watu hawana kikombe Arsenal. Okay, that one is uh, somewhere else. Salesio Morioki. And if you're wondering what we are talking about, the question is, wanome hutu matrix kama gani ku protect mabeste wao against warembo? Mm-hmm. Salesio Moriki, Moriki says, President Nikiwa Empire Chamber of Great Thinkers. Said ya mutuati. Mom, hope the boss says, Mimi sina mauni kwa sasa. Radio Boy K says, Sia tu kondani. Sintawitheta says, what against who? We, women, what do you even mean? Are we that dangerous? But before a lady reacts, always it's triggered from somewhere. Wanaume. Okay, do you believe this is true? What? That uh -huh. you're trying to protect your bro from a female, but uh -huh. the female is saying uh -huh. that Ninyinyi mnanzishanga vita. But, uh, like, uh, for mind of a man, mm -hmm. I think it's more of a solution finder. Mm -hmm. So even uh, it's not uh, in a situation, a man always, like we may, we may be supposed to always try to look for a solution. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the society, I don't think uh, the man would likely go to start the war because that war is not a solution. Mm -hmm. First, I think we will more focus on the solution. Like sometimes we can, we can find is the lady who triggers maybe an action, mm -hmm. and that action can raise, yeah, can raise some um, certain anger uh -huh. yeah, in you. So it's, it's the females. It's, yeah. it's, uh, I want to back that up. Back uh, it. Uh, it depends. Mm. Let me back that up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, there is actually this, uh, this thing that females, they really have one problem. They do not know how to let things go. They don't. <laughs> Actually, maybe like what he has said, women Shots do find solutions. But the problem with women is 
Now the mistake, uh -huh. which has actually been profound of a solution, mm -hmm. they now drag it back uh -huh. now and then. From morning, they now drag, drag now, now they still drag it back again. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you know what you did yesterday? You are now eating lunch. Do you, do you remember what you did? You are now at dinner and she's still repeating the same. Mm -hmm. Now, as for us men, you know, mm -hmm. we tend to keep quiet mm -hmm. so that you just talk, talk and talk because at some point, you, women are just a nuisance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why, you know, fem females say we fear <laughs> them. Females say we fear them, but I, I kind of say that men tend to just keep quiet, uh -huh. females to just talk because they never get tired of talk, talking. In, the first in, place. in our defense, mm -hmm. technically it's biology, we have 25,000 words a day. Wow. I think either, either mm -hmm. 10 or 15,000, so we have a very huge gap. So you, you finished, mm. maybe you went to school, you went to class, you went to work. Ushama Liza was of the day. So mm. you're coming back now to chill with your partner. Then they still have a couple of more things to, <laughs> to say. Yeah, <laughs> and I you, see. you're done. Mm, you're just done. <laughs> you're like, oh, just let it slide. All right, mm. before I continue with another um, comment, mm -hmm. is it a bro code for bros not to relate with their family members for example you have a sister that oh. he likes but record does it dictate that do not come anywhere near my sister my cousin my my sister who i'm a it's it's uh, it's all right uh, let me start i also want to hear a suggestion <laughs> uh, for me i think uh as a bro okay it depends where your relationship started as uh, you became bros mm -hmm. But personally, when you go to Brocord, I think it's quite fair. Now, okay. It depends also with the sister Mamba or the partner. Mm -hmm. with <laughs> but so it depends with the partner or the sister that the bro wants. If the, like maybe a bro wants my sister and uh, my sister personally to her is okay with, mm -hmm. okay, that's okay. Mm -hmm. But uh, in other scenario for mm -hmm. Brocord, I think a bro, called, uh, a bro uh, should not uh mm, maybe mingle with a sister mm -hmm. to your bro mm -hmm. like personally for me i don't do that mm -hmm. yeah for me now me i take it it's again as the bro called mingling with a sister or a relative to uh -huh. uh. and if you know that particular bro akona tutabia to akona tutabia na tisi to safi na umemsaidia kusafsharada several times so that is now breaking the bro code if he comes anywhere near your family as long as he doesn't keep it secret. Ah. Excuse. Now a plot twist. Okay, so yeah. there's a difference between mingling no, you with know your family. That, okay, as in, you know, you know the bro, uh -huh. and uh, you know the intention. As in, he just tells you. Uh, for me, I think your sister is good for me. Uh -huh. You know, you understand. You like. You know, you understand. You come to. Mm -hmm. to an, uh, an agreement. Uh, yeah, come on, like Come on, woman. And if I'm understanding, if uh -huh. if another, if a bro does not tell the bro that he is mingling with the sister, that is a problem. If it's in secret. Betrayal. <laughs> <laughs> Betrayal. <laughs> Second time I've heard that word today. Mm. First in politics, and now in the bro code. Mm. Why is it betrayal? I don't know why, but I think in the bro code or like the way men are, mm -hmm. they they just don't like their friends dating their sisters. You can't just do the cousins. They don't have problem with the cousins actually. Uh -huh. But now when it comes to like the, the, the deep family, the problem. sense of family, no, mm. no, no, they don't do that. Yeah. So actually, if you want to save your friendship, you mm. either do friendship or do relationship. You either choose of one. Really? Yeah. You have to do that. What if the bro's intentions are pure? Like, I want to, you know, take care of your sister. I want to do this and this. It becomes difficult. Very few, very few do understand. Very few of them. That I can assure you. Uh -huh. Let's say, like, like let's say 10%. 10% uh -huh. of men can agree to that. But the 90% answer that to you. Problem. So, yeah, problem. You want to add on it? Ama, your, your heart is full? I'm about to tell me that I'm going to be sorry. I'm going to let her come The process is too bad. <laughs> mm. uh, uh. Didn't see it coming, did you? <laughs> Not at all. Let let's come back to your comments, dear viewers. Remember, it's at White Five on Facebook, and that's where I am. We have Morris Makoa says, "When morning tuned in or watching from Kakamega, Namushia Kabras, Mimo sema hata hao, ha hata huo bado siko na e ndo awache kunifuatilia." Ah, ati. 
Mempata, he tuned in watching from Kakamega, Cabras, Mimil Samata War, Bado Siko Nay and the Archakuni Fortilia. Okay, all right. Uh, which brings me to something again, Austin said at the first segment. Ni Monome and accountability a little bit has um patani because Monome ni Monome mm. and he does not want to feel like he owes anyone an explanation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes? yes. Chauvinist. Chauvinism. <laughs> I don't know if I wanna I wanna put a, a a, a label on mm -hmm. it, but according to what I heard today or this morning, Manomeni Kamashida niyake niyake nata deal nayo vya nata kudil nayo. So what happens when you've you've gone through the right channels or may advise pro wako, hey bro, maybe this lady is not good for you now. Well, menyo mejionea. But again, kama nishida, nishida yangu, misi da kuliza. Now, how, how do you step forward from there, according to the pro code? Okay, me I will say that according to the bro code, in fact, that could lead to like the end of that friendship because most men do not like to be advised of their relationships. Mm -hmm. That's why we tend to now make tricks to make sure that we are going to cut them off slowly because you oh, might tell okay. them, you might tell them this girl is not good for you and you are actually trying to tell him to watch another girl so that you, you partake, are you uh -huh. getting it? You get so instead, situation. you just better ignore it. Uh -huh. Yeah. If you cannot just bring a trick, mm. trick to ya kumfanya on toke, unafikiria that will make, mm. uh, just keep that to yourself. Thoughts? Uh, thoughts. Uh, there's this brokod, mm -hmm. and then there's this uh, family of brothers. Uh -huh. You know, for that uh, brothers you have bonded, mm -hmm. it's more than uh, this brokod. You know, bo brokod is the boy-to-boy -boy relationship. Mm -hmm. Now, for, for that uh, awesome bond, that group, Flani, mm. uh, now you, you mean it, you mean that you need to uh, Flani. Actually, I think in that group, mostly what is is advice from their friends. Mm -hmm. Araka means a bad or it's a good. Mm -hmm. They tend to listen from that uh, your circle, Flani. Mm -hmm. So for those people who QMB, I think they'll listen. Mm -hmm. But for this other, uh, for, for, for the brokered, you tell someone, Pia, yeah, when you um, attack you could change, you peer someone is someone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, gonna feel exactly gonna feel Z, peer me up even gonna mind. Mm -hmm. You just wash your hands, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, you wash your hands and so I should try this way, maybe this way, because ah, mm -hmm. uh, it's quite a little because your destiny, yeah, okay, maybe I feel. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, I could not advise himself, but the way I each could you feel, come on, don't plan your destiny. <laughs> Way up for destiny, okay. All right, okay. I have this is just me being very curious, okay. and, and I don't know if it's a fact or not, but Nikama, it's like a small, small pattern I've seen recurring in places. Mm -hmm. I'll use Diamond as an example. Diamond, okay. I think, is Jikama ni wema sepetu alim heartbreak ever since. Aye, I'm a sumbua was tana and end up to a kid drop to me. But only come album up and up and up. Is it true that you put a true one heartbreak small, small? Now you want to destroy the female race. Is, is that how you guys feel? Ama? And just be honest, kindly. Maybe, maybe if you ask this concept of fear women, well, how did it start? Aha. Uh -huh. yeah, you know, that concept, yeah, the, the, it's something that. Uh, as arised rapidly, uh -huh. of lately, that the concept of fear of women. Uh -huh. And maybe the, if those pioneers who came <laughs> with that concept of fear of women, maybe what they have gone through, if they will just air it out. <laughs> because, you know, it starts from there. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe people are part of, like, Kadamond, where's you and Nizaki, but you're part of fear, make a pitia. So, you know, for an experience in Mepitia, sometimes it it alters how you're reasoning, how you see things, with the, the, the angle of how you saw things and have written about that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can move on with that uh, anger, okay, on a, like uh, everyone is the same after all. Mm -hmm. The way this will come, it could be so smooth, mm -hmm. like something that you didn't expect. Like, you know, for the first, uh, maybe the first breakup in a relationship, mm -hmm. probably is something you never expected, if you're so into it. I love it could be slap to the bar. It could like, fear these people. <laughs> so that's change. <laughs> or maybe they, they be a platform like a organization that handle people who are from breakups. Mm. Because you know, most of the people are from breakups they after breakup, what comes next is fear. I mean there's not that uh, mental awareness you could relax, Kwambia. 
maybe that's not the path as always mm -hmm. you know so if that uh, part uh, if that period lacks mm -hmm. yeah someone like come out of the kuna rehab mm -hmm. rehabilitation if that part uh, lacks even for also, also for the female mm -hmm. the female also on a they have passed through a lot mm -hmm. I love you know sometimes that situation even if you tell friends or others is not taken that serious mm -hmm. and you know now it comes to develop and cultivate right that part, this one hurts me i put it yeah, yeah. like and you now, said also we have yeah, a problem and now letting you, go you're spreading it to to your friends mm -hmm. yeah you can find someone is in love with Zuri, but the key to me pitia you're like uh you know you know you go through that mental awareness you have that advice that mm -hmm. gnc so you're like uh this person is my friend, mm -hmm. I should also advise him. I mm -hmm. should warn him. Mm -hmm. To add on to that, add you on. are diamond. Mm -hmm. What I think is, mm -hmm. actually diamond, kuna that relationship you are with pay to. Yenye, maybe ilim heartbreak. Na any relationship diamond anaenda, there is something he is expecting which he is not getting. Mm -hmm. He is expecting maybe something in your pay to look on as mm -hmm. you know, as a partner. Mm -hmm. Now, Akienda to these others, when you come to Hamisa Mobeto and Zari mm -hmm. and the others, mm -hmm. Anapata totally, oh, these guys are just different from the one I had before. No, no. So, Anapata, Anenda too, and in fact, Damon is not going to stop. <laughs> He's not going to <laughs> stop. But then, I'm actually thinking, <laughs> by the way, I'm the... very surprised that Jamfanya is like it. Acha Jamfanya? Acha Jamfanya. See, Tege. Tege. Very soon, we'll just get a heartbreak, by the way, for sure. Uh -huh. For sure. Mm -hmm. But actually what I'm thinking about Diamond, Diamond mm -hmm. E haita called the last heartbreak because Vile Nafkiria, mm -hmm. Diamond kuna kitubado and anangojea kupata mm -hmm. from a female. Yenye mm hapati. -hmm. Because actually this guy amekuwa na wanawake wengi, but they mm -hmm. What else would you say? Then I oh, told you when you tunajua. Mm -hmm. Maybe kuna others behind the scenes. No, By the time we jamaa na fika fifth. I know guys. <laughs> Disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay, yeah, so, so, all right. Um, maybe, <laughs> like, uh, you know, f uh, for that first love, mm -hmm. you have dedicated yourself. I love you, like, uh, you know, it came maybe natural, you know, mm -hmm. it was the first. Mm -hmm. So, okay, but at this break of love, I maybe to back up on that, mm -hmm. you know, that issue you could compare to try to, you have already set the bar, mm -hmm. the standards in your experience. Mm -hmm. So, for these people to meet, if they don't meet that, Nini, mm -hmm. You feel you're not enough. Okay, maybe I'd like to maybe finish <laughs> off with asking this particular this case. We'll call it a case study. Mm -hmm. So Juzi to look what nona, and apparently this is not easy story. Juzi ne akitambo kidogo to it's just that it has resurfaced. In fact, mm -hmm. Stephanie Eta was educating me on it. So we have a 23 year old Monye. He was dating someone who is a bit more, I won't say affluent, like Konama Pesa, Pesa Kidogo Kumliko. And the mother was in a particular predicament, Aliko Mgondra. So I kept a kidney more, kidney more. Immediately after giving kidney, sister girl just, Kaisha too. Nikama love Elisha too. Who gave the kidney? The guy. The guy gave the kidney. To the mother of the girl. Uh -huh. Yes, I love, uh, hey, I love who love ni kama Elisha. So much so that when you say that you have to do it, you have to do it, you have to do it. In fact, the guy's family did not even know what he had done. Uh -huh. So when he's trying to reach out to this baby girl, now there are even threats coming in. Like, bro, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to deal with you accordingly. Now, how do you think this particular mindset? Do you want to do it? I mean, for real. But it's a mess. Maybe so, that rehab come. Mm. Actually, I'm saying oh, maybe that rehab in my penzi. Mm. There's something in as a um, idea, Kabisa. Because mm. okay, I wish to get a after you know when you related to the ancient biblical story. Mm -hmm. Adam after Adam, the Eve of America can betray mm. the trust and the love of God. Mm. If they end up together again. Mm -hmm. uh, again. Mm -hmm. So I think yeah, as a pianist, as a really pianist, it's, a pia, it's, a pia, it's mm -hmm. just that uh, that career has mm -hmm. it too, because she has found a but that's not the end of it. Maybe somewhere, somewhere you can find some. Maybe it was the path for you to find awakening, a awakening, mm -hmm. or a 
you know, like to, you know like a blessing you have to be screwed a bit to get it mm -hmm. like ile kupitia so that you get the one mm -hmm. maybe that was how his path ile kuwa oh una feel as okay mimi na feel um jamaa this guy clearly at a rehab because he will really take a long time to heal mm -hmm. because actually he was really expecting a lot from the lady because mm -hmm. where could, could donate kidney do you know how much a kidney costs alafu napatia mtu kidney tu hivi bure bure imagine free of charge yeah. and then you know actually um, what i hold in my own per perception i would think that the guy alikuwa na expect more because he says now that i have done this this girl is going to love me more or I'm going to get more favors mm -hmm. or bond yetu itakuwa strong maybe alikuwa she made up their mind umschana mm -hmm. akuje kumoa afterwards mm -hmm. then what happens but mm -hmm. actually this is not the first scenario mm -hmm. there is also another, another scenario it happened mm -hmm. but no just Elena Gomez mm -hmm. Elena Gomez was donated a kidney by a friend mm -hmm. but I don't know why after being donated that